I have like male friends that are in their 80s and I sit and look at them and when they get in their little groups and, and these guys, they just all hang out and the misogyny within that group and these are all educated men, right. retired professionals and the way they talk about women, women are nothing but objects it's to true. them. And if you say anything about it, oh, how could you say that to me? <laughs> you know, we love women. Of okay? course. And, and, when and, they're bent over. Yeah, they, you know? There you go. Hello. <laughs> and when they got yeah. their top off. Yeah, so on. When, when we can grab them. Yeah. You know? And, and when, when I, every time I, I would talk to them about it, it would be, oh, come on. You know, um, that's just our generation. Uh, women don't mind. I mean, what is the problem? It's like, well, you um, never really asked, right? Because she had to keep her mouth shut, huh? Like, and and, and when, when I got into the discussion of the Weinstein case, all these women knew there was a ca casting couch. I said, no, wait a minute. You so you're telling me all these wide-eyed 15, 16-year-olds coming from Timbuktu, Kansas, right. they knew about the casting couch? I right. don't think so. And why do they have to exploit themselves in order to get into Hollywood? To be Hollywood? in the business, exactly. You know? And there is, there's so much cognitive dissonance yeah. um, with um, men who are misogynist but consider themselves progressive um, and that they're not, that it's almost impossible to have that conversation with them.